at five, two young children died at the hands of their own mother. It is a heartbreaking story that we've been following out of Sanford. Yeah, we have team coverage this evening. Watch News Greg Fox is live outside the woman's home near Sanford. And Michelle Meredith spoke with mental health experts. We're going to begin with Greg Fox. So is there any indication what may have triggered all of this? So far, no, and that's the frustrating thing for detectives. They've been talking with family members of uh, Tori Hutto, and they know that she had mental health challenges, but nothing that was violent. And about a year ago, they moved into this house after they acquired it from Habitat for Humanity. Uh, she and the kids, and everything seemed to be going well until the shocking events of today. Five-year-old twins Ahmed and Ava Jackson are shown just a couple of weeks ago wearing their uniforms for the UCP Seminole Charter School. This is their mom, 31-year-old Katoria Tori Hutto, in a three-year-old photo provided to West 2 News by a family friend. Family, friends, and neighbors are grieving the loss of both children and their mother, the boy and girl found inside the family's home on Alexander Avenue Friday morning. All of this started when a motorist passed Hutto's car on the Lake Jessup Bridge and saw her jump over the side. Mom jumps off the bridge, commits uh, what's obviously now a suicide and what looks to be a homicide that is contained within this house. Though a gun and bullets were found inside the home in the bedroom where the kids were found in their bunks, they were not shot. It does not appear that there's any blunt trauma. It does not appear that they were the victims of gunfire. So there would have to be uh, a method of death that, that the medical examiner will have to uh, help us understand through toxicology reports. But again, no signs of trauma to the body. And the deputies that went on the inside said it looked like two innocent five-year-old children sleeping. Neighbors wonder what could drive someone to take the lives of innocent kids and their own. I am absolutely heartbroken. Um, I have empathy. I don't have to know her to feel. I have a daughter of my own. And um, what first comes to me is that she must have not had anyone to reach out to. But I know in my community that mental health is just now being taken seriously. And, and again, that was just one of the neighbors that we talked to here in the neighborhood today. Uh, we just received a couple of minutes ago a statement from uh, the UCP Charter School, quote, the entire UCP community is deeply saddened by the sudden passing of two of our Seminole County Schools kindergarten students and feel shocked by the circumstances. We immediately made available grief counseling for classmates, teachers, and school family members. And of course, this investigation continues. We'll update you at 6. Live in Seminole County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.